and welcome to our lesson on the equation of a tangent to a circle. So to begin with, we're going to identify the key parts of this question. We have a radius here, and the tangent, which is the blue line, and where the radius crosses the tangent, we have a perpendicular angle. And because the radius and the tangent are perpendicular, we know the gradient of a tangent will be the negative reciprocal of the gradient of a radius. So to begin with, we're going to find the gradient of a line R1, which we'll call NR. And NR is the change in Y divided by the change in X. The change in Y is negative three. And the change in X is positive four. So the gradient is negative three divided by four. And we can use this to find the equation of a line LT. The equation of a line is y is equal to mx plus c. To work out the gradient of this line, well, we know the gradient of a tangent is equal to the negative reciprocal of the gradient of a radius. This will be equal to four over three. And we can put this gradient back in to our line. So we have y is equal to 4 over 3 multiplied by x plus c. And here we have a point t, which has a coordinate of an x and y value, where x is equal to 8 and y is equal to 2. And we can substitute these values back into our equation. So we have 2 is equal to 4 over 3 times 8, which is the x plus c. And I'm going to multiply every term by 3, so these will cancel. So we have 6 is equal to 4 times 8, which is 32, plus 3c. And I take away the 32 from both sides, so I have 3c is equal to minus 26. So c will equal negative 26 divided by 3. I can now put this intercept back into here. So y is equal to the gradient, which is 4x over 3, minus the intercept 26 over 3. And this is the equation of a line L1. 4x over 3 minus 26 over 3. Okay, let's try the next question. Okay, so we're given the point P at coordinate 3, 4, lies on the circle x squared plus y squared is equal to 25. Do you want to try and find the gradient and the equation of your line L1 by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready? Okay, so we know point P is at coordinate 3, 4. And we're going to find the equation of a line L1. And the equation will be in the form y is equal to mx plus c. So to begin with, we need to find the gradient. Well, the gradient of the line L1 will be perpendicular to the gradient of the radius, which we'll call mr. So to begin with, we're going to work out the gradient of a radius. mr is found as the change in y divided by the change in x. The change in y is equal to 4. The change in x is equal to 3. So the gradient of a radius is 4 thirds. We can use this to work out the gradient of line L1, which we'll call nt, t for tangent. And this is equal to the negative reciprocal of 4 over 3, which is equal to negative 3 over 4. So we can put this gradient into here, and we have y is equal to negative 3 over 4 times x plus c. And we know at this point, x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 4. 
so we can substitute these values back into our equation. 4, which is y, is equal to negative 3 quarters of x, which is 3, plus c. I'm going to multiply everything by 4. Then these two terms will cancel. So we have 16 is equal to negative 9 plus 4c. I can add the 9 to both sides and these will cancel. So I have 25 is equal to 4c. So c will equal 25 over 4. I can put this intercept back into our equation. So y is equal to the gradient, which we know is negative 3 over 4, x plus c, which is 25 over 4. And this is the equation of a line L1. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.